It is very sad that the culture of political violence is still in this country. Uh, on Saturday, we had gone to Ololulunga Market in Narok County. We had just left Narok Referral Hospital where money was stolen. We went to Uhuru Market. In Narok Town, we were attacked. And it was a team led by a guy called uh, Bosco. Booster. A guy called Booster Olekisio. He is a goon for the governor of uh, Narok. Huh? The governor of Narok is the one who sent uh, this guy called Booster Olekisio to lead a team of goons to attack us. They attacked us in Narok town and followed us to Masai Mara University. We escaped and went to Ololulunga. Now, when we went to Ololulunga, we had gone there to see the Ololulunga hospital and then the Ololulunga market. Just after we seen Ololulunga market, as we are turning into the tarmac, we find more than 50 motorbikes and more than 100 people with machetes, with the pangas, with the rungus, waiting to attack us and having, having blocked the road. We had, they even had arrows. We had to make a U-turn on the highway and start running. And because I was able to go faster, I was hid in a Maasai homestead before I later found police rescue. But the rest of my friends were not very lucky. The vehicles that they were in, one of them got a tire burst. So they stopped on the road. And the other, when it decided to make a turn, Kuja Kuwasaidia, it also swerved into a ditch. So this gentleman was hurt. As you can see, his head has been stitched. Aligongwa Kichwa. Uh, and he also has an injury here. He also has another injury here. You can see how black it is. And um, this lady also has an injury on her hand. And they were threatening to rape her. Now, I don't think that those people were Maasai's because the culture of the Maasai is not that way. But these are people that were mobilized and they were lied to. The person who mobilized them and gave them money told them that Unawezi wa Madawa ya hospitali to end to Kawapige. So these people were lied to because I've spoken to some of them. I sent a team to the ground to go and find out what was happening. And the Maasai people don't have a problem at all. In fact, the people of Narok County have encouraged me to keep telling them the truth and to do vampire diaries in Narok County and show them how projects have stalled and money has been stolen. Because if there is a, a county that is a crime scene, Narok is a crime scene. In fact, most of the money is stolen through revenue collection, not even through expenditure. So it is very sad that uh, a state official can choose to do this and using his official government vehicle that is bought by Kenyan taxes to carry goons and come and attack. And one of the goons that actually were trying to tell this lady that, you know, we will rape you and even recorded a video of her is that uh, guy called Olekisio together with the goons that they were with. So I'm calling out the governor of uh, Narok. I know that uh, he's working very closely with the president, William Ruto, and that the president is very much aware of what happened. Right now, my life is in danger because there is a team of flying squad officers that has been dispatched from Narok. And, and the Narok county commander knows this. There's a team of um, these uh, officers called flying squad that has been dispatched from Narok to look for me, to track me down, and maybe shoot or whatever it is that they've been told to do. I also know that there's a team that has been formed under DCI called SSU, the Special Service Unit, whose particular purpose is to track me down and kill me. I know that they've been looking for houses near my house where I live in Ruiru. I've been told this because I was in the real estate business before I began this business of good governance. And uh, some of them have been looking for houses near my house so they can be monitoring me. Because they were telling brokers that tutafti nyumba yoyote tu. Hata kama ni three bedroom, hata kama ni two bedroom, hata kama ni bed sitter, bora ni hapa isikue kuingine. So it's okay. We are aware of your, the plans of the enemy. The only thing we can do because we don't have political power is to tell them this. Governor Lentutu, I'm like your son. I'm the age of your son. Mi ni rika ya mtoto wako. Can you please spare our lives? Allow us to tell Kenyans the truth even if you hate the truth. And I'm also telling this to William Ruto. This country has gone in the wrong direction. And sadly, you are becoming a dangerous president every day because you are consolidating a lot of power. You've owned parliament. You've owned part of the judiciary. You've owned uh, independence institutions. Right now, even if I run to IPOA, 
independent police oversight authority and report a police officer. There is nothing that's going to happen to them. Even if I report to the internal complaints committee of the uh, inspector general, nothing will happen to them. So he has captured all independent institutions. Hakuna mahali ya wakenya kukimbilia. That's why I'm telling Kenyans to sipo komboa inchi, nobody will help us. So I'd like uh, this gentleman to say a word and this lady to also say a word. But otherwise, uh, we are aware that my life is in danger. We are doing everything possible to stay safe, but we are leaving our safety and our protection to God because he's the only one who can keep us safe. Uh, you will not say anything? Can you say something? So, uh, my name is Shiko, and I am the one who was driving that car which was attacked. And uh, I can remember experience how much these guys, we begged them, in fact, to leave us alone. Because they were willing to rape me, and they were willing to kill one of our guys. And I asked governor, this governor, what kind of a governor are you? You can send your, ma your men to come and rape women. I condemn this action and try somewhere else because they didn't manage to rape me and we thank God. So Tafadali, Tunaomba Governor Ulentutu together with President William Ruto just lead the country well. We don't have a problem. It's not that we want to be governors or presidents by force. We're not trying to overthrow the government. We just want to be led well. We want Madawa Hospitali. Right now people are paying cash. There is no NHIF, there is no shift. Kuna watu hiyo pesa tangu January ya yona. There are people who are suffering in this country. They are unable to eat. There are people who have closed their businesses all over Kenya. Can you please lead the country well? You are elected to lead as well. Can you please lead well? Can you stop this greed of theft and plunder of state resources? Otherwise, we will continue doing what we are doing. We ask for Kenyans to pray for us so that we may be safe. And that Maasai family that helped me, Wakanificha Chini Akitanda, I'm really grateful. I'll never forget what you did to me, Asanteni San.